We're with Ksenia Yudyeva, and she is the first deputy governor of the Bank of Russia. Thanks very much indeed for joining us today and really looking at the world from Russia's point of view. Of course, there's a new incoming U.S. president. There is Brexit. There are various things that are happening in the world. Higher interest rates, perhaps, in the United States. What's the world going to be looking at? at from Russia's point of view in 2017? Well, of course, for us, what's uh, maybe even more important is more stable oil prices. Uh, also, growth in the global economy is very important for us. So, U.S. economy is, will be growing probably a little faster than it used to. Chinese economy is quite stable. Chinese growth rate is quite stable. It's important for us. And, of course, everybody is concerned with that policy normalization, which is going to be probably faster than it was expected before. But again, for, for Russia, this is less important than oil. But oil and gas is still not reaching the heights that it was, and uh, oil and gas prices are still fairly low. So do you see a fairly weak outlook for Russia from that point of view? Uh, well, we definitely expect much stronger outlook than in the last couple of years. Well, maybe not much stronger, but stronger, because Russian economy was in, a, in recession for the last two years, so it's getting out of recession. It started to grow in the second half of 2016, it will continue growing and the growth will speed up somewhat in 2017-2018. You said you're really looking at now the world from Asia's point of view. I mean, we have got the Chinese initiative, the Belt and Road, and of course Russia is on that Belt and Road. So do you see some kind of a dividend, an economic dividend, from the Belt and Road into the next few years? Uh, well, uh, definitely trade, interconnectivity, infrastructure are key things for growth and prosperity uh, in the recent world, in the normal global world, right? So for, from this perspective, I think that all the countries which are involved in this project, including Russia, are going to benefit from it. I mean, would you see then much warmer relations between Russia and China from that point of view, from the point of view really of central bankers and then the development banks and others that go after that? Well, uh, we as a central bank, we are market regulator. We actually already have a very good relationships with people banks of China and other Chinese regulators. Uh, you know, we uh, first of all have a direct uh, Russia, uh, Russian ruble and RMB trade in Moscow and in Shanghai. We recently um, uh, established this uh, clearinghouse uh, in, in Moscow. We are trying to develop bond markets uh, together. Uh, so there are a lot of uh, projects between our country's financial markets uh, which can benefit growth financial and financial and trade ties. And what about Hong Kong in particular? I mean, Hong Kong is often seen as a sort of connector for the Belt and Road, indeed in trade generally. Uh, throughout this part of the world in Asia. So do you see that as uh, important to Russia as well? Well, I wouldn't have been here if we hadn't seen it important, uh, right? And we definitely would like to have very good relationships with Hong Kong. Hong Kong is a place where you have lots of investments. Actually, I just had a meeting with investments here in Hong Kong. Uh, and I think it's uh, very important to have major financial markets in the world and in Asia linked together to have exchange of information, exchange of financial flows. Uh, which will, at the end of the day, again, will have positive effect. Uh, Hong Kong can be uh, a very important uh, sort of point of contact for both Asian investors in Russia and Russian investors in Asia. 